but I think if you just shout at the bridge man, he'll lower or raise that bridge. Um, Gary can't reach that. But if I just yell at the bridge man, I think he will lower or raise the bridge. Wait, oh, the bridge man! Now leave it down. Fast asleep, Bridgeman. What are you doing? Ha ha! Fuck you guys. What were you thinking? You could have saved us so easily. I don't want him. I'm very happy to be dead. Woohoo! Thank God for that. Oh, right at the Spike Canyon. We're all dead. This is a long fall. Ooh, shiny specs. And their rubber. Of course. Did I just see a wolf? Having fun? Not really. Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But no one. Hey, okay. Wait! What? I always trust the fox. You gotta trust the fox, man. That's obvious. No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. I landed on rubber. It can't. All missions are cancelled. Oh, thank God for that. Jesus Christ. I love you. I'm starting to hate you. Me getting on my nerves a bit. I'm sure you mean well, but come on. You're really annoying. Can we sneak away now? I like Dad. Dad's cool. That's a cool guy. Weird. No missions. I can do whatever. Good. Can I wake this guy up? He's Why cool. Do computers need sleep. No, I can't make him a poker. She Shame. says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, definitely could. Yeah, right. Like we have. Might as well keep it anyway. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing? Oh God damn it! What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. God damn computer. Um What can we do then? What's this? I don't see any of those weird little screws there. Can I use this on this? I don't see any of those weird little screws there. Uh, I don't want to use up all the air now. I might need it later. What can we do? Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Alright, what about this? Nah. Gary doesn't like to grab things with weird little screws. Uh, this? Yes! Yes it is, thank god. It works! Hmm. Oh, I just threw it away, I might need that. What's this? It yeah, looks like an it? inflatable raft. So combine these two? Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa! The it hell? Like blow up doll of me. Creepy. I'm not a fat. And I'll put this in the bed. And then I hide. <laughs> that does not all like me at all. This looks enough like me to fool the warden. <laughs> Maybe the computer's really stupid, I don't know. Ooh, what? Can I take no I can't take that, damn it. Down we go. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. 
Sleep tight, little hero. Oh. She does yeah. mean well. Computers are stupid. She does care for me, but it's far too boring to just stick around there. Hey, Fox Man. How you doing? Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Yeah. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. <laughs> young cub. <laughs> Okay, let's go then. Getting a bit more exciting in the ship now. Not a wolf man, Joda. Young master has come to play with the space weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This <coughs> is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Okay. Hey, space weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. You can knit time and space? That's quite impressive. Are you hey, from Doctor Who? Space Weaver, can you take me here? Not a problem. Oh good. I thought it had to be free of conflict. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spinning at rotational velocity. Deploying nav starve in five. Four. Three. Two. One. Whoa, this is some trippy shit, what the fuck? We've entered the hippie dimension! We've entered the hippie dimension, my god! The horror! There's hippies everywhere! Hey, Wolfman! Boxman, whatever. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <sighs> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Oh, okay. Go on, lower the shields. Good. 
Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject, then press this to engage the grapple. Is that all I had to do? I got it. Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You're a bit you shifty. Our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. You seem Use shifty. The controls to position the ship. Position the ship so the cargo booms can grab one of the creatures. You definitely seem shifty, sir. Careful. Got another one. Great. Woohoo! Now just place it in the cargo hold and Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. Can't you pop the shields? Oh. Bye, little guy. You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to stop there for now. Um, manual save. 1 hour 43. Let's just save here just to be sure. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you the ne next time. Bye.